All right, y'all, today I'm gonna to be trying out the classic pizza meme, the non pizza with left beef. Got this from Domino's, just arrived. They, they stuck the receipt right here, so I tore it off, but it's unopened. Still got the, the safety seal sticker on there. I have no idea what this is gonna look like. This cost me $17.66. Let's take a look. No! Oh! Alrighty, damn. All right, so this isn't exactly the nun pizza with left beef. I couldn't recreate this exactly how it was in the original meme from like 2007, what was it? 2007, but it's pretty damn close. It's as close as I'm gonna get. Uh, they don't have just regular beef at Domino's here in Korea, so I just went with, I believe they're ribeye steak. And honestly, this is looking pretty decent. There's no sauce, no cheese. And as you can see, it's not just on the left side, but I can tweak that a little bit. Hold on, let me. Let me move it over. All right, there we go. That's gonna do for me. Um, a couple of observations. One, I'm surprised that the meat actually stuck into the dough. That was one thing I was real curious about, whether it was just gonna be flopping all over the place or if it would actually kind of bake into the dough. And it looks like it's kind of set in maybe just a few millimeters into it, just enough to keep it from falling, but you can easily just pick it off. If I shook it around, it'd probably fly off. Let's get this thing out of the box. Holding up pretty well. This thing is not flopping anywhere. This is a medium sized pizza right here. I believe the original was a six inch pizza, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty small, so I tried to stay true to that. Actual legit looking pieces of steak here. I'm excited to see how these taste. They actually look pretty tender and juicy. And I'm just gonna be eating this pizza. So if you don't know about the meme, um, I actually didn't even hear about it until today, like a couple hours ago. I was planning on doing, all right, let me rewind a little bit. So way back, like, Probably two or three years ago, I did a pizza, just the crust. I got a Pizza Hut pan pizza, just the crust, just to see if they would do it. It's kind of another stupid thing. And I got it, and um, they delivered it. Not bad here. Anyway, I did that just the crust pizza a few years ago, and I wanted to uh, take it a step forward, or maybe just a step to the side, do something different. So. I was thinking, what could I do? I could get a pizza with no cheese, but that's just not that cool. I mean, it's kind of just like a marinara pizza, to be fair. Or a pizza without sauce, but that's just kind of like, um, you know, cheesy bread or what have you. And I was like, you know what? I should get a pizza with no sauce or cheese, just the toppings. And that was my whole idea. And today, when I was figuring out what toppings to get and where to order it from, I just Googled pizza, no sauce, no cheese, only toppings. And th I found this meme, the nun pizza uh, with left beef. And I'm gonna take a bite. Go in. Ah. So there's your problem, you know. Honestly, not bad, man. This meat is not bad at all. It is tender, it is flavorsome. So what I'm eating here, like I said, it's not really pizza, it's just kind of dough and, and steak. What, what's, what's wrong with that? So yeah, it was back from 2007, this guy, he just wanted to test the limits of the, like, the internet was still kind of a newer thing back then. And he wanted to test the Domino's, like, website, and if he could really order a pizza like that. So he put in on an online order, and he actually got it delivered. Dude's name was Steven Molaro. What a legend, man. And he hated it. He said it tasted like tasteless bread with salty meat pellets. So, I think, I'll give them more credit than that. These, like I said, I know it's not the original just beef that they have on maybe their American menu, but, you know. I don't know. I do remember Domino's also did completely revamp their dough and crust recipe. Not sure when that was. It was around that time. Maybe it was a couple years earlier, but... I remember that was a huge deal when I was younger. It's been described as a corporate yet hilarious monstrosity and a perfect troll and a monument to humanity's achievement and hubris. I don't know about all that, but back in 2007, the memes were not as spicy, I'll tell you what. Do y'all remember when memes were first becoming a thing? 
I remember it clearly. I remember first getting into Reddit probably when I was like 18 and it was like the old school Reddit. I really liked that old school version of it. And I remember seeing these memes and not knowing what to call them or anything, but I have a vivid memory of one of my roommates saying, like having a discussion with him, like how to pronounce the word meme. And he was like, oh no, I thought it was Mimi. I thought it was Mimi. Oh no, no. It's meme. You're tripping. I'll be honest, I miss the old memes. The, the ones with like, good guy Greg. Um, that guy was just, he in light, brightened my mood every time I saw a good guy Greg meme. He disappeared. Good guy Greg was a man. I miss that guy. So let's break it down real quick. Is there any actual merit to this pizza? I mean, I paid seventeen sixty-six for this pizza. I don't think they give me any discount for taking off the cheese and the sauce. So I would say no, unless you're doing it as the ultimate, like a joke. But, you know, I'm not going to pay the same amount of money to not get sauce and cheese. I guess like if you're a, a vegan. I'm not talking about the steak here. Like a vegan who doesn't like tomato sauce and you just wanted to get like bread with toppings, like vegetable toppings. Maybe that could be a reason, but. Nah, I don't even know anymore, dude. I don't even know. Anyway, tell me what you think. Uh, it does raise a couple interesting questions like, you know, has customization gone too far? I would argue that like, let's give the people what they want. But on the other hand, I would say that if I had my own pizza place and someone ordered this, I'd say, sorry, maybe you should go to a different pizza place and ask for that. I want to serve pizza. You know what I mean? So I can see both sides, but you know how some like hot dog places don't give ketchup. They don't offer ketchup at all because that's what they believe in, even if the customer wants it. So there's some kind of lie. And I guess at the end of the day, just do what you got to do. I don't know, man, but yeah, I'm about to see it out of here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.